Hey guys, Bellamy Me here from Midnight Suns, back again with another Overwatch guide. So for those of you who don't know, I am an Overwatch 1 Top 500 Brigada 1 Trick player. A few weeks ago, I made a practical gameplay guide for Brigada in Overwatch 1 right before the game shut down. And I highly recommend watching that video if you haven't already, because most of the Brigada gameplay tips I shared in that video still apply in Overwatch 2. However, with the launch of Overwatch 2, Brigitta has received multiple changes to her kit, and a lot of people have been in the comments of my previous video asking me for advice on playing the new Brigitta now. So I figured I would create this updated guide and give you guys some tips on how to play this new version of Brigitta in Overwatch 2. And so without further ado, let's get started. The first tip I have for you is to make use of Brigitta's remaining shoot stun abilities. The regular stun may have been removed from Brigitta's Shoot Bash in Overwatch 2, but there are certain scenarios where the Shoot Bash can still stun and knock down enemies. You can use your Shoot Bash to stun and knock down a Charging Reinhardt, a Punching Doomfist, or even a Running Bob. This is extremely useful for stopping the enemy Reinhardt or Doomfist, or even just shaving off a few seconds of Bob's timer while preventing him from getting into your backline and therefore protecting your teammates. Ideally, you will want to have a coordinated team that can provide cover for you when you are knocked down. But even if you get killed by the enemies while you are knocked down, if your teammates manage to kill the enemy Reinhardt or Doomfist, then that's probably alright because trading one support for the enemy tank is usually worth it in many scenarios. To add on to this, if you have a good Kiriko as the other support on your team, she can actually make you invulnerable while you shoot bash the enemy Reinhardt or Doomfist with her protection Suzu, allowing you to stun them without getting knocked down yourself. If used at the right time and with proper coordination from your teammates, this shoot stun and knockdown can win entire teamfights for you. The second tip I have for you is to remember that you can use your shield as a survivor tool to allow yourself to heal. In Overwatch 2, all supports have a passive ability that allows them to regenerate 15 health per second after not receiving damage for 1.5 seconds. For Brigitta, this means you can hold your shield up and prevent yourself from getting damaged for 1.5 seconds, allowing your passive health regeneration to kick in, even in the middle of a team fight. It doesn't matter if your shield gets damaged, as long as you yourself don't receive any damage to your health or armor for 1.5 seconds, your self regeneration will kick in. As a bonus, you can also hold your shield up when a Sombra is trying to hack you and instantly cancel her hack, further increasing your survivability. The third tip I have for you is to use your Shoot Bash as a movement tool. With her new Shoot Bash that has a reduced cooldown and a 12 meter dash range which is almost double the distance of her Shoot Bash in Overwatch 1, she now travels between the frontline and backline within seconds, making her extremely versatile in her positioning. In most instances now, you do not need to stay at the backline the whole time protecting your other support in Overwatch 2. You can be on the front line with your tank, attacking the enemies, and then when you see a flanker like Sombra or Genji beginning to attack your backline, then you can turn around and shoot bash instantly to get to your teammates and punish the flankers. This currently makes her really valuable in high level play where meta flankers like Genji and Sombra are pretty much found in every match. The fourth tip I have for you is to use your shoot bash as a combat tool to engage and disengage from fights. The reduced 5 second cooldown time of the shoot bash, compared to Overwatch 1's 7 second cooldown, means that you can now use it much more often, and the additional damage makes it a good tool to start fights with or finish enemies off. The shoot bash now goes through shoots and does 50 damage instantly upon contact, which is one third of a Tracer's total health or one quarter of a Genji or Sombra's health. The shoot bash now also activates your AoE Inspire healing instantly upon doing damage making it a great fight engaging tool overall. If your health is low, you can also use it to dash away to safety behind cover instantly. As your Inspire AoE healing now lasts for 5 seconds, you can do some damage to an enemy to activate it, dash away backwards if your health is low to recover for a while, and then 5 seconds later when your Inspire healing expires, your Shoot Bash's 5 second cooldown will be refreshed at the exact same time and you can bash in and get that AoE Inspire healing up and running again. This is a very good way to play Brigitta defensively if the situation calls for it, so you won't just be stuck in the front line and get melted if the enemies have too much damage focused on the front line. 
The fifth tip I have for you is to always use your shield to peek around corners and report enemy positions to your team. When you hold your shield up, you get a third person view that allows you to see around corners and see enemies while staying out of sight from them. And you can also use this to surprise squishy or low health enemies and kill them if the right opportunity arises. And that brings me to tip number 6, which is to remember to shield ping. Overwatch 2 has introduced a new ping feature that allows you to highlight players and objectives to your teammates. And this is extremely valuable no matter if you are on high or low level play. Pinging the enemy will allow you to direct your entire team's attention towards an enemy and finish them off. For this reason, Brigitte is by far one of the best pinging heroes in the game because she is the safest pinging support hero in the game. You can hold your shoot up and press the ping button at the same time, allowing you to ping your enemies from behind the safety of your shield. In high level play, poking your head out in an open area can mean instantly dying to a soldier's railgun. So being able to shield and ping is one of Brigitte's best new techs in the game right now. The seventh tip I have for you is to pay attention to your positioning. Always remember to play around cover and around your team as much as possible. Never stay out in the open alone because your shield will melt and you will get killed within seconds. Try to make sure you know where your teammates are at all times so that you can use your shield bash to travel between your teammates as needed and you can also use your shield bash to quickly get behind cover to allow your health to recover. Make sure you are around your teammates when you use your out, as everyone around you will get bonus over health when you activate it. At the end of the day, good positioning is probably the biggest thing that separates the weaker Brigetta players from the better ones. The eighth tip I have for you is to always be holding down your left click and swinging your rocket flail as much as you can. The only time you should avoid doing this is if you don't want your enemies to hear you and you are trying to be stealthy. Just hold down your left click and spam it around corners to hit anybody who comes through and a lot of times you will accidentally hit hidden sombras or Genjis and Lucios that jump on you. The rocket flail does 35 damage per hit and a single extra hit from you just spamming it and accidentally hitting anybody can mean the difference between winning and losing entire team fights because every bit of damage counts. Constantly swinging your rocket flail will also discourage the enemy flankers from being too aggressive as they can see that you are not just a passive brick who holds a shield up the whole time. And just swinging your flail can also expose enemy sombras by accident sometimes as her flail attack range is pretty large for a melee attack. So yes, just always be holding down your left click and swinging as much as you can as often as you can. The ninth tip I have for you is to get used to using your whip shot to activate your inspire AoE healing from a distance. The whip shot is the only ranged attack that Brigitta has and you really need to learn to use it as accurately as possible. It does 70 damage, which is twice the amount of damage of your regular left click rocket flail swing, making it a great way to do damage and activate your inspire AoE healing. You can also use it to knock away enemies that are diving on your team, finish off low health enemies and you can also just use it to knock enemies off the map and get instant kills as it has a push effect. The tenth and final tip I have for you is to make sure that you are attacking and healing simultaneously as much as possible. You can actually throw out repair packs while keeping your left click held down and doing damage. So never just do one at a time especially if you are in the middle of a big team fight. Doing this will allow you to maximize your healing and damage potential at the same time. And it is not uncommon for Brigittas to have the most healing in the game especially if she is paired with Lucio or Kiriko. Do also note that you can stack repair packs on the same target as each extra repair pack extends the healing by an additional 2 seconds. So you can use multiple repair packs on low health targets if you need to. And those are the top 10 Overwatch 2 Brigetta tips I have for you. Now you are ready to go out there and bash some skulls in with your shield. If you have any ideas or suggestions on what other kinds of videos you like me to make, feel free to go down in the comments below and let me know. Thanks again for watching guys and as always, stay gold.